Hey there, Pray Plant Girl here. Today I'm going to be planting my onion seeds. It's the 27th of January and this is a great time to get your onions started if you're starting from seed like I am. So I have, I have Ilsa Craig onion seeds here. These are new seeds and a new variety to me, but it's one that I've seen grow very well for many people and it is supposed to grow well in my region. So I'm looking forward to giving it a try. I also have a few seeds that are saved from my own onions. Now I saved these a couple of years ago, so I'll sow these pretty thick because onion seeds tend not to have a very good shelf life. And um, we'll see, they didn't grow into nice big onions for me. They're kind of crossbred, I think, um, when I collected the seeds, but I thought they might be nice just to use for some green onions. Uh, so I'm just gonna get them started now and uh, just see what happens with them. But my main goal is to get the Elsa Craig going so that I have nice little starts to put out uh, early in the spring this year that'll have lots of time to grow into nice big onions. Starting onions from seed is really, really easy to do. And I highly encourage you to try it if you've never done it before. Just find a packet of seeds that you think sound like a good seed for your area and uh, give it a try. I'm going to be starting mine in this large uh, container that, I don't know, it had lettuce or something and I'm sure at some point from the store, I've had it for quite a while. It has drainage in the bottom. And it's clear and you don't need it to be clear, but I like it because I like to see what's going on with the roots below, but you need it to be fairly deep. I find last year I tried growing my onions in a more shallow container. Well, but like that, and I didn't find they did as well. And I think it's because I usually grow them in a nice big container. They have lots of room for the roots to grow down and get large because they're going to be here for a while. I'm not going to pot these up. I'm just going to leave them growing in this container until it's time to put them out in the spring. If you're going to be moving yours up into different size pots, then perhaps a more shallow container would work well for you. So I'm just gonna quickly take a moment and label my tags and then I will fill the container with soil. It's just gonna be regular potting mix and then I'll get to, to uh, sowing the seeds. So now that I have my soil all put in my container and I've just gently tamped it down, but I don't have it packed in super tight, it's ready to go. And I'm just going to take my marker and I'm just going to make just kind of some little furrows just to kind of have a bit of a line to help guide me. And I'm gonna put them pretty close together. I'm just, I'm just, just pushing the marker down and you don't have to do this. This just helps give me a guide for planting in and I put them very close together. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six across this container. So my package here says to start your leeks and onions eight to 10 weeks before planting out. And I'm actually probably about 16 weeks now, I think, before my average last frost date, but I will likely be able to plant these outside earlier than my average last frost date with just some light protection over them. Uh, but regardless, I find it's good to start them nice and early. And it also says to sow them a quarter inch deep and half inch apart. Now I'm going to put them about a quarter inch deep, but I'm going to sow them closer together than the package uh, directs. And I find they grow well, I just find that way. And you can thin them out a little bit, but I usually don't thin them to more than about a quarter inch apart because these are actually going to be started inside and then put out. Um, and I just, I find that works well for me. So let's see what we have in here. So there's onion seeds. So just little black. And I'll try and use them all up here. I think I got them all out of there. So we'll see how many we get into this little tray here, but I'm just going to set them in and I'll put them about 
a quarter inch apart, maybe half an inch. It's there's not a lot of seeds here, but I'm just kind of letting them fall and roll in the little furrow there where they land. So I readjusted the camera to give you a better angle and I think I forgot to turn it back on for you, but all the seeds are sown here. I have mostly Ailsa Craig on this side. I just have a little pink tag sunk in the soil here. I'm not sure if you can even see it. And then I have my save seed sown quite thick on this side because I just want them for like kind of a chive green onion kind of thing and I'll just harvest out of them as I want for the next while and anything that's left I can just plant out if there's anything left or I can re-sow them because I'm not looking to get big onion bulbs out of these seeds here. I've labeled the both sides so I remember what I did and I've just sprinkled lightly some of my potting mix on top again. This is just like a peat moss growers mix with some perlite and vermiculite in it. Uh, just it's not a super light seed starting mix and then I sprinkled vermiculite on top, which is what you can see there, that kind of brownish sandy colored uh, substance there. And that just will help to hold moisture at the seed level until they get sprouted. So I have my spray bottle and I'm just going to spray this down really well. The soil is already damp, but I wanna make sure that vermiculite is nice and damp now, because like I said, that's what's going to help to hold that moisture in at the top level of the soil until these get going. Now, I'm out in the greenhouse right now, but these will be going back inside. It's much too cool out here right now to have them just growing out in my greenhouse. At this point, we're still getting well into freezing mo all, every night and most days. So this will go back in the house. I'll actually put a, a seed tray or a humidity dome of some sort, just some sort of clear tray on top just to hold the humidity at that top level until they're growing and once most of them have germinated and I have lots of growth I'll just remove that dome and let them grow. I'll have grow lights on top of them so that uh, they're getting that nice bright light and otherwise I'll just be keeping the soil mildly damp uh, while they're growing. I personally like to come in and trim my onion tops once they start growing and I like to keep them about that high, I don't know, 10 centimeters four inches, something like that in height. I just find it keeps them neater, easier to take apart when you're uh, planting them out and they just seem to grow well that way. I know some people have argued the point that you don't need to do that and you might actually be uh, damaging your onions or it's not helping to direct growth to the roots or anything. But I feel that it works well for the onions I've grown. I've always been able to grow nice big onions doing that. So I, I find, I feel very confident in trimming them down and I just, I do think it keeps it just a nicer, neater thing when you're growing something for that long inside. It's nice to have it uh, manageable. But onions are really easy to grow from seed indoors and get started early. So if you haven't tried them from seed before, maybe this is the year you try. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.